Infinite number of straight wire, each carrying current I, are equally placed as shown in the figure. Adjacent wires have current in opposite direction, net magnetic field at the point PS. This is a question from the chapter, moving charges and magnetism, or we can also call it as magnetic effects of current. Okay, so as we read in the question, there are infinite number of straight parallel wires. It goes on like that. It's not just three. It goes on like that. Okay. And, and these wires are at equal distance from each other. But one thing you have to be extra careful is each of these wires are carrying currents. The adjacent wires are carrying currents in the opposite direction, as you can see from the figure. Which means if the magnetic field due to this wire is out of the plane board, then the magnetic field due to this wire will be into the board. So this will be again out of the board and again the next Y into the board and so goes on like that. So the magnetic field will be opposite in direction. The magnetic field due to the adjacent wires will be in opposite in direction. Okay. So now the equation we can use here to solve this question is mu zero I by four pi R sine alpha plus sine beta. So alpha and beta is corresponding angles over here. Alpha and beta. The angles are clearly given there, right? Okay, so let's apply the principle of superposition and find what is the magnetic field at the point A, all right? So using the equation again, right? The magnetic field at the point A will be equal to the magnetic field due to this wire, this wire, and this wire, right? So to proceed further, I need to find out what is this distance, what is the distance AC, what is the distance AD, and so on like that, right? Let's find out what is AB first. Taking cos theta over here, we can write cos theta is equal to adjacent side, I'm taking it as R, divided by A, right? So what is R? R is equal to A cos theta. R is equal to A cos theta, right? Now, we can take some common points common over here. One, sine alpha and beta, both are 30 degree, right? So here this will be sine 30 plus sine 30, that is 2 sine 30, and taking it outside. So it is mu 0 i 2 sine 30 divided by 4 pi. And within the brackets, I'll be just writing 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 minus 1 by r4 and etc. Why is there a minus plus variation there? Because as I told you, the currents are in the opposite directions, which means the magnetic field will be, if one is into the plane, the other will be out of the plane. Okay? So it goes on like this. Okay? Till infinity. So this is equal to, what is sine theta here? Theta is actually 30 degree. So what is sine 30? Sine 30 is 1 by 2. 2 and 2 gets cancelled out. So this will be mu 0 i by 4 pi. 1 by R1. R1 means the first distance. And here, R or the R1 will correspond to A cos theta. What is cos theta? Cos 30. Right? Now, minus. Minus 1 by R2. I told you that all these are at equal distance. Which means, if this is R, this will be what? R plus R. That will be 2R. Right? So the distance AC will actually be 2R or 2 times R1, which means that will be 1 by 2A cos 30. Okay. And correspondingly, what will be R3? R3 will be 1 by 3A cos 30. Okay. And it goes on like that. Now let's substitute the corresponding values here and try to obtain the answer. So substituting the values, you'll be getting it as Cos 30, what is cos 30? It's root 3 by 2, right? So substituting the values, you can write this as mu 0 i by 4 pi 1 by a, I'm taking it outside. Okay, cos 30 is root 3 by 2. So you're getting 2 by root 3 here. Now minus 1 by 2 root 3 by 2 plus 1 by 3 
root 3 by 2. Fine. So you can actually take you can actually take the 2 by root 3 term outside. So this will be mu 0 i by 4 pi a 2 by root 3. Fine. In 2. Within the bracket we have 1 minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 and it goes on like that till infinity. Now I hope you have seen this formula somewhere. So this is the condition for log of log of 1 plus x which is actually equal to x minus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 minus x raised to 4 by 4 right here instead of x we are having 1 here right so x is actually 1 which is easily understandable from this so here in place of this value 1 minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 we can actually substitute log of 1 plus 1 or that is log 2 all right so making that substitution we get this is equal to mu 0 by 4 pi a mu 0 by 4 pi a i 2 by root 3 log 2 okay now Looking at the options, we can actually make some modifications here. So this 2, I'm going to take it over here. So this will be mu 0 by 4 pi a i log. When this 2 comes in, inside the log, it will be 2 square. That will be log 4 by root 3. Okay. And this is a positive quantity here, which we are getting. Which means that as it should be a cap. So that is the corresponding answer and that is the magnetic field at the point A due to infinite number of straight current carrying wires carrying currents in the opposite direction. I hope it is clear. Okay. Thank you.